And once again, ARS fans, we just want to quickly mention that Axe Orange is at Slam Upper Tree SummerSlam premieres Summer 2024 on TVNR.com. And ladies and gentlemen, we will see you all there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dragon Ranger. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, ready to issue the open challenge. The world already knows my word here, so who is it gonna be hot? I am issuing an open challenge right here, right now. I was gonna respond, and oh my lord, it's the dragons! The dragons! They're trying to go against the dragons! The dragon is going after their former teammates, ladies and gentlemen! Kick to the face! And now look at this! Right behind you, another rocket launcher! Two rocket launchers! Two rocket launchers! Oh my lord, they just got friendly fired! And here comes another dragon! Punch to the face! And now, oh my lord, dragon! Let's go body slam to a car! And we're going to Attack. It's over! Here's your godly bitch, Winnie! Dragon Ranger! What a shocking battle we just witnessed, ladies and germs. I know Dragon was ready to issue an open challenge here tonight, but I did not expect his former teammates to try to attack him in response. But regardless, all the nine dragons were met with swift yet painful punishment, courtesy of their former leader, now turned enemy. Dragon Ranger of XRA, and it looks like his training with the heinous hex really did pay off. They have indeed, and the fact that Dragon had to resort to beating up his former soldiers, it truly shows how big of a heel turn his career has taken, from the Nine Dragons all the way to heinous hex. Well said, Doctor, but ladies and gentlemen, I am getting word of a backstage confrontation between two of our fighters. Let's take a look. Look, Liz, or whoever you are, I'm trying my hardest to understand you and why you're doing this, but you're making this very difficult for me. So I'm just gonna ask what makes you tick. Tell me about your family. Tell me about your father. My father was a great man. He taught me everything I needed to know, and he molded me into what I am today. So, why don't you watch where you're going with that, Elizabeth? <laughs> Alright, Miss Elizabeth. What if I once told you that your father is a fool? A ruthless, aggressive fool who once took pride in hurting his own daughter for the sake of pure enjoyment. Does that make you a fool as well? Tell me. I'm curious. Look, Liz. I understand where you're going with this. I was there when Daddy beat you in front of your one true love. The way he threatened to slit your throat. If you wouldn't marry the groom he chose for you. <sighs> and that I had to intervene just to kick your boyfriend's ass. Daddy was with me since day one. And he still supports me to this day, even if he's no longer with us. Daddy meant everything to me, and he still does to this day. So watch what you say, because in a few minutes from now, we're gonna be in the same ring together. And I'm going to steal your identity and marry your one true love, once and for all. And you'll just be an afterthought of what you once were. A pathetic excuse of a slave. Liz, or whoever you are, you are not listening. Your father was a disgrace. And once I beat you, you will finally understand what kind of a father he truly was. Just listening to you right now proves that you're a delusional jackass and an insecure bully who only cares about the legacy and preservation of my pathetic excuse of a father. When I look in the mirror, I see exactly who I am. I am the real Liz Elizabeth Rose. And the only legacy I will forever preserve is my mother. Because she is ten times the man that my father ever was. Because I will be the real Liz Elizabeth Rose. And you're just a joke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, trust me when I say this. You do not want to be in a situation like this, where someone dresses like you, mimics your voice and your personality, in order to steal everything from you. I'm definitely rooting for the real Liz in this next match.
Well, Harris fans, the time has come to finally decide who is the real Liz Elizabeth Rose. It's Princess Liz versus Princess Liz one-on-one -on -one in an ID theft Falls Counts Anywhere match. The only way to win is by pinfall anywhere in the universe. Which one of these ladies will be forever known as the real Princess Liz? The following is an identity theft match scheduled for one fall. There will be no countouts and no disqualifications. The winner of this match will be declared the true Princess Liz. And the only way to win is by pinfall anywhere in the arena. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Liz versus Liz. And oh my lord, Liz going for a submission move against Liz. Oh my lord. And now she's throwing punches. Another submission move, ladies and gentlemen. And now she slams her into the pole. But oh my lord, now we know who the imposter is. And now, ladies and gentlemen... Liz, oh my lord, just bit Liz, ladies and gentlemen. And now she's got a steel chair, but ladies and gentlemen, counterattack. And now she's going off the top rope. Liz, from the top, what a perfect split. And now, ladies and gentlemen, punches, stops, submission move once again, ladies and gentlemen. All the pressure to the arms and legs. And ladies and gentlemen, second time. And now look at that, kick. And now look at this, she's throwing her into the pole, punches ladies and gentlemen, slams her into the pole once again, what a kick ladies and gentlemen, and now Liz striking back, submission move ladies and gentlemen, but Liz taps. Here is your winner, and the real princess Liz, Liz Elizabeth Rose. And so it has been decided. Liz Elizabeth Rose has won the match! The fake Elizabeth has been exposed, and Liz can finally return to cuddling with her fiancé. What really surprised me in this match is the fact that I couldn't tell each princess apart until one of them taunted to the audience. And once again, Liz continues to amaze her fans by beating up another girl who went after Void Ranger, and ladies and gentlemen, that is what Liz is famous for. Going pop, 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 watching girls drop. But jokes aside, I really hope that this will be the last girl Liz gets to fight. If anything, she should really go after the Divas Championship, as she faced many Divas in order to earn an opportunity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of championship, we have one more interview being ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look backstage with one of our fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, Void Ranger. What? Coming up next, you're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Rogue Minister to Radio. And the both of you agreed earlier this season that your stipulation will be a last one standing death match. Do you have any comments on all of this? Of course. I saw what he did to my lady and my child last year at Dishonor for Honor when my father pinned me down to the ground and I was forced to watch Liz get the most ferocious beating of her life. And worst of all, I was defenseless to protect her. And you know something? I still haven't forgotten how personal he tends to make every confrontation we've had in the history of our sport. I eventually realized that I cannot let Liz or anyone who supports me get involved in tonight's match, as we don't want a repeat of what happened last year at Dishonor for Honor. So I secretly made a deal with Tyranium before the event even began. And the deal was that both Optical Illusions and the United Antivirus Movement will be barred from ringside for the entire duration of our match. And Minister Terranium has agreed to this. So tonight, I'm gonna fight harder and smarter than I previously had. If I'm gonna beat Minister Terranium by the count of ten, I need to think outside the box. And once the count of ten has been reached, the winner will become the new Keeper of the Negative Stars. Now how's that for a breaking news alert? Well ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you all for tuning in to Brawl Royal. As it was a very explosive season this year, but it's only going to get more intense. Because coming up next, we have a last one standing death match. Void Ranger taking on Minister Terranium and breaking news as announced. 
both optical illusions and the United Antivirus Movement will be barred from ringside, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is how it all happened. The following contest is an I quit match for the negative Ultra Stars. There will be no cutouts, no disqualifications, no pinfalls, and no submission. The only way to win is to make your bone and scream the words, I quit. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the I quit match. Void Ranger, he threw an uppercut, and now he's throwing punches to Minister Tyranium. But ladies and gentlemen, swing kicks, look at this. Oh my lord, he's throwing punches, and now he slams him into the ball. And now he's stomping on Tyranium, a body slam by the way. And now, once again, Void, he's going punches. He's trying to do everything in his power to stop Tyranium. Submission move, he slams him into the ball. Submission move to the shoulders. You just did Tyranium, do you want to quit? Never, never. Tyranium said no, the match continues, he slams him into the pole. Is this what you wanted, huh? Is this what you ate for? And oh my lord, stomps, and now oh my lord, he starts, but ladies and gentlemen, Tyranium counters, and now he stomps Void to the ground. Void Ranger, are you with a quit? No. Now what the hell is gonna happen? Oh my lord, Tyranium, throwing stomps. Void with chair shots, and now he's going for chair shots to the face. Look at this, he's trying to go for a submission move. Minister Tyranium, do you want to quit? Oh wait a minute, what the hell? Void Ranger, oh my lord, intercepted by the Supreme AI. And now Void, disabled the Supreme AI with a body slam. But ladies and gentlemen, what the hell? Oh my lord, Total AD, he just died going to the ring. He just died going to the ring. And now Total AD is coming by just Void, trying to fight back. Supreme AI throwing punches of his own. Supreme AI and Webroof, they're stomping on poor Void. He's helpless, ladies and gentlemen. And now Terranium, he's got a candlestick. And now he's attacking Void with the candlestick. But ladies and gentlemen, there comes Void Jr. Void Jr. with the steel chair. Supreme AI tries to get in. But Void with the steel chair. And now he's stepping into the ring. Boy, he slams Total AD into the ring. But oh my lord, what the hell? What the hell are you doing? He's a child for Pendock's sake. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Kendo Stick attacks by Tyranium. Boy, no. And then, he's got the Kendo Stick. And now, he's got the fight for Void Ranger's honor. And now, Kendo Stick to Total AD. But ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, the Supreme AI tries to bag the Liz with the body slam. And now, Liz going after the Supreme AI. And now, he's freeing Void Ranger. But ladies and gentlemen, and look at this! Submission move! And now, oh, what a takedown! Nice Tyranium! And now the Supreme AI with stumps! Oh my lord, it's not a chair! Don't do it! Void Ranger, this will forever be the very last chance you'll ever say it! And this time, I'm not playing games! And what the hell? He's attacking Liz with the steel chair! No, please stop! Don't hurt her! Hey, quit! They just attacked Void's family for God's sakes! Here's your winner and still keep it the negative Ultra Stars, Minister Tyranium! Not another step, you think? Let me guess, you intend to use Quarantine.exe to wipe out every computer on the planet, including those belonging to the United Antivirus Movement. Is this true? That's where you are wrong. We of the UAB have also obtained a copy of Florentine.exe and we will use Stuxnet to reverse engineer its codes to create the antidote for the infecting minister and no one, not even you, will be able to stop us. Take him away and throw him in the brick. What do you mean?
This is the last one standing match. There will be no count outs, no disqualifications, no pinfalls, and no submission. The only way to win is to incapacitate your opponents until they can no longer respond by the count of ten. And the final battle of the night begins, ladies and gentlemen. Void Ranger going straight for punches to Tyranium, but ladies and gentlemen, they're exchanging blows to each other. And now, oh my lord, look at this. He goes for uppercuts, he slams him into the ball, slams him down. Ladies and gentlemen, Void off the top rope right into Tyranium. And now look at this, Tyranium, oh my lord, slams him, stomps, ladies and gentlemen. A body slam by Tyranium, and now sweep kicks, but Void, he's back to his feet, Tyranium and Void, they're exchanging blows to each other, another body slam, ladies and gentlemen, and now it's Tyranium off the top rope, oh my lord, what a takedown, win, and now Supreme Ranger's here to start the count, two, keep sitting back. And ladies and gentlemen, the match continues. Void is back to his feet. And oh my lord, stomps, ladies and gentlemen, and punches, ladies and gentlemen. Win! Man, that was brutal. Two. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, these two have to sacrifice everything in their body. Four. In order to become the next keeper of the Ultra Stars. Keep sitting head. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, Void is back to his feet. What's he gonna do now? Body slam by Void Ranger! Win! Ladies and gentlemen, that was brutal. Two! And now Supreme Ranger starting the count. Remember, you have to count to ten. Three! In order to win the match. Who is going to be the last one standing? Three! Three! But wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, I think I see some movement. Keep sitting hit! And poor Void, he's not happy. He's very frustrated here. Oh my lord, he slams him into the ball. Sweep kick, double sweep kick. He's going for chairs, ladies and gentlemen, but he just disregards the chairs. And now what's he doing? Oh my lord. I'm gonna kill them all. But look at this, EXT, counterattack, and that was stomp to the face. Win. Man, that was brutal. Two. Seriously, an EXT through two chairs? Three. Hey. The sacrifices they have to make in order to become Keeper of the Stars. Five. But wait a minute, I see some movement. Game City Hedge. And poor Void is very frustrated. The match continues. And now the throwing punches. Void with the sweep kick. And now punches. Sweep kick again. A body slam, ladies and gentlemen. Win. Two. And ladies and gentlemen, Tyranium is not moving. Three. Four. Is this it, ladies and gentlemen? Can Void be the last one standing? Three! And once again, Tyranium is still not moving. Six! Seven! And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're close to ten. Eight! Two more, and it's over, ladies and gentlemen! Nine! Can Void Ranger be the last one standing? Keep sitting, bitch! And Void is shocked out of all of this. The match continues. And oh my lord, look at that. Tyranium with the special. Void tried to go for a knee strike. Light tube. But ladies and gentlemen, Void tried it. Second time, it did not connect, ladies and gentlemen. And now uppercuts. And now Void is down. Win. Ladies and gentlemen, that was brutal. Two. I can't believe Void Ranger got hit with the light tube, ladies and gentlemen. Three. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand the limits that these two are putting their bodies through. Five! Six! And ladies and gentlemen, looks like Void is not moving. Seven! Eight! Well, ladies and gentlemen, can Tyranium be the last one standing? Game City Match! And Tyranium is not happy. Void is back to his feet. Void's got a weapon. Double punch to ladies and gentlemen. Now Tyranium is down. Win. Two. 
But ladies and gentlemen, that was brutal. The mercury poisoning going into the chest. Three. And not one, but two light tubes. Double the effectiveness. Four. And it looks like Tyranium, he's still not moving. Five. Will light tubes actually do it? Six. Will the light tubes be the key to Void Ranger to be the last one standing? Seven. And ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're very close to ten. Eight. Two more, and it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Nine. Can Void Ranger finally do it? Keep sitting, Hitch. And ladies and gentlemen, that was a close call. The match continues. Tyranium, coast to coast, off the top rope, with a thunder elbow. Homage to Blood Ranger. Win. Two. And ladies and gentlemen, that was brutal. Three. I don't even know if Void Ranger's gonna get up from that. Four. Five. And ladies and gentlemen, there we see Tyranium. Six. As you can see, he's holding on to his chest because he too is injured. Seven. And ladies and gentlemen, we're very close to ten. Keep sitting, match. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the match continues. And now it's going to happen. Oh my lord, Thunderstrike. And now he slams him into the pole. Body slam, ladies and gentlemen. Win. You have to admit, ladies and gentlemen, that thunder strike was brutal. Two. Three. And ladies and gentlemen, Void Ranger is not moving. Four. Also, that thunder strike was definitely a killer, ladies and gentlemen. Five. I mean, that thunder strike, it was the same attack used to defeat Void Ranger. Six. In order to take the stars away from him. Seven. And ladies and gentlemen, we're very close to ten. Eight. Can Tyranium actually do it? Keep sitting, bitch. And Void Ranger is back to his feet. The match resumes. And oh my lord, stomps, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's throwing punches to Void. Void going for a weapon. He's got a table. And now he throws Tyranium through the table. The table is already broken, but Void doesn't care. Sweep kicks. And now look at this. He's going for a weapon. He's got a wrench. But oh my lord, uppercuts. And now Void and Tyranium, they're exchanging blows to each other, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, he's going for a weapon. Baseball bat. But oh my lord, double hits with the baseball bat. What a slammer. That's it. Game over. Tyranium just said game over, but Void with the wrench. EXT, ladies and gentlemen. Win. And ladies and gentlemen, that was a huge hit. Two. A wrench weighing nine pounds to the mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Three. And it looks like Tyranium, he's not moving. Void Ranger, can he do it? Four. Five. And ladies and gentlemen, Void Ranger standing proud. Six. Tyranium is still not moving, ladies and gentlemen. Seven. And ladies and gentlemen, we are very close to ten. Eight. Can Void Ranger actually be the last one standing? Nine. One more, and it's all over. Ten. And ladies and gentlemen, Void Ranger did it. Void is the last one standing. Finish him, and now Void, here we go, with the wrench, he's cutting him open with the wrench, ladies and gentlemen, through the mouth, and he's bleeding. Here is your winner, and new keeper of the negative ultra stars, Void Ranger. And now Void, looking to escape the cartridge, ladies and gentlemen, he's catching his breath, he's got the negative stars, but wait a minute, oh, knee strike by Glitchy, Glitchy. One of the evil clones just attacked Void Ranger, and now here comes Princess Liz taking <laughs> the damage. And ladies and gentlemen, it's official. It's gonna be Glitchy Void? versus Void, Void. at Slamiverse okay? Summer Slam, and we're out of time. Good night, everybody. And so, with Void Ranger finally winning his last one standing deathmatch fair and square with Minister Terranium, unfortunately, Void sealed his fate, as next year he will have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of his brothers at Slamiversary SummerSlam. And with Riz getting her identity back, the princess can now have peace of mind for now. Will Void Ranger be able to defend himself against his five evil brothers? As a new adventure begins to dawn, what new dangers await our hero and his friends? 
with the United Antivirus Movement defeated this year, can the antiviruses bounce back at Slammiversary? And with Boyd as the keeper of the negative stars, how much danger will our heroes be in this time? Stay tuned for Season 20 of Axe Ranges S.